Guys, let's start with World 5 today. Since our last game night where we went to play World 1, especially for Joe, so that he could look at the intro and the rules, he has proven again that he is not more to save. Yes, good idea. I'm excited for this world. What kind of statement is that, Donald? I just paid attention during the intro and nothing went wrong. Why don't we play the ice world again? I love the winter feeling. Joe, the only thing where you put your attention on is the beautiful Prince's Peach. But since World 1 is pretty easy, it's a great idea to start where we just ended. Yeah, Joe, and we're not going to play the ice world tonight because I want to know what kind of world World 6 is. So let's do this first. I do know what this world means. This is the world with all kinds of butterflies and carnivorous plants. Really annoying. You are annoying, too. And those beasts are no butterflies but rust. Fuck you, Donald. Joe, did you work on your game skills while we were sleeping? God, Jesus, how is it possible that you are so fast right now? The only reason why that is possible is because he has the ice power up, which helps him to fire an ice ball and freeze the carnivorous plants. In the other case, he was already dead in one minute. Hey, you keep saying that now, but I haven't died once during this game. And also, without a power up, I'm faster than you are, you stupid dumbass. If you don't believe me, you can ask the viewers. They comment that they like me more than you all together. Right, people? Joe, don't be so haughty, it doesn't suit you. Judging by the comments, opinions are very different. You are not the only one who is loved. Yeah, Joe, I read that the people like me more than you losers. Except Michelle, of course, she is loved too. Oh yes, you will not protect your wife for a while. Fuck off you and focus on the game. Don't worry, Grandpa. Instead of you, I know how to play this game and especially how to win. I don't have my power up for nothing. Well, fantastic, Barack. Do you want a sticker now? I still have mine too, so don't feel special, you loser. But fine. If you know how we have to win this game, tell us how we can beat this carnivorous plant. It's not that hard, Trump. Just use your power up and make sure you don't jump on top of the plant. I don't think it really needs an explanation. That way you were able to show that you are our star player, didn't you, Barack? And that's how the inexperienced players among us learn something, too. Glad you learned something again, Donald. I didn't want to name names. Mm, yeah, it's nice to have enough self-reflection, huh, Joe? Maybe you could use a little more self-reflection, Donald, shouting to everyone that they can't play but spend half the game in your bubble, nice and easy. That's how you save your game lives. Oh, really, Joe, and how do you think that is? Maybe if some people were a little more considerate of their fellow players and didn't always rush ahead like crazy, others would get the chance to play the game, too. I thought you were always the best and fastest player. Well, not if you can't even keep up with me. Ah, shut the fuck up, loser. Shut up, you both. This is so annoying. Let's have a great play night instead of fighting the whole time. I really don't let my evening be ruined by that sleepy grandpa. Nice shot, Joe. Great ice bridge, I must say. Barack, get the fuck off my head. Soon I'm still falling into that purple shit. Sorry, Donald. Watch out for those turtles. They are everywhere right now. Joe, freeze them with your power up and watch out because you almost fall off. Yeah, Joe, why do you have a power up if you don't use it? Because this stupid roll thing moves so fast, I almost fall off. But you also have a fire power up, Donald. You can shoot them too. Try to get that wall open and get the star coin, Joe. We also only need three more coins and then we get an extra life, so don't miss any of them. Yes, got it. I do have an interesting question for you guys. What would you choose, a suitcase with $5 million in it or forever true love? That's an easy question. Five million is a lot of money. Of course I'd choose that. Last day I just came across my wife's Tinder profile and I'm so angry about her lies. She is not fun to be around. You may have to wonder why you find her on Tinder. Yes, are you tired of Melania already? I'm actually not surprised that you don't choose true love. You would sell your mother if you had the chance. Ah, fuck off, Joe. It's just a joke. Last week, Michelle and I were out for dinner and I was drinking a martini and the waitress screamed, does anyone know CPR? I yelled, I know the entire alphabet. And we all laughed and laughed. Well, except for one person. This is not funny at all, Barack. That was a horrible joke. I liked it. Me too. While we're at it, I also know one more. President Lincoln was approached by a woman after a political speech. If you were my husband, I would poison your tea. Lincoln replied, if you are my wife, I'll gladly drink it. Barack, what is wrong with you? Stop this, please. Ah, well, I like this night. Oops, my bad. I could have sworn I was dealing with an adult. You're the reason God created the middle finger. I forgot the world revolves around you. My bad. Guys, we need to focus. We're in the middle Bowser castle, so we have to make a plan how we're going to beat that asshole. I'm already thinking for the perfect plan. Give me one more minute, and I'll have come up with the master plan that we will definitely win with. Oh, I thought already that I smelled something burning. Are you trying to think again? You're just like a Russian doll, full of yourself. I've been called worse things by better men. 
Your time is up, Joe, so bring on your master plan, or did you just want to stay safe in your bubble for the whole game? If I'm not mistaken, I'm not the only one watching quietly from the bubble. And it's better to work smart than harder, Barack. It must not be that much smarter, because if someone could look into your brain now, we would only see blue slurry wandering around. So if we want to survive this, I think we can better make a plan ourselves. Oh, really, Trump? And what kind of plan are you thinking off? We can also use you as a bowling ball. With your weight, it won't be a problem to bowl over Bowser. I was thinking more about trading you for the princess. We don't miss a sleeping grandpa anyway. Unfortunately, according to the rules, that is not allowed. Otherwise, I would have known. But I think it's smart to collect some more power-ups now that we can use in the fight. It's a good idea if we all have a power-up before we enter. Are you suddenly best friends with Donald Barack? It's obvious which side you're on, but I don't need any power-up to beat Bowser, you will see. Make no mistake, Joe. Everyone has a better chance with a power-up than without. Bowser is very strong and is not easy to beat, so better we are prepared. What you want, Michelle, we do have an advantage. We have our big-ass Donald if he jumps on Bowser once he immediately has a concussion. Fuck off, Joe, or I'll give you a concussion. But just to be sure, didn't we just beat Bowser, or was this Bowser Jr.? No, Joe, thanks for paying attention. We're already trying to make a plan for the real Bowser castle at the end of this world. This wasn't Bowser, but just one of his sidekicks. Wait, now I'm confused. I thought we were making a plan for this fight. It goes wrong with the first two words, I thought. Ha, if we had to wait for you, you'd still be thinking in that bubble of yours. Yes, it's funny that you didn't even realize we were already in the fight, but that's nothing new. It's going to be a while before we can really take on Bowser. He is hiding in his big castle at the end of this world, and we are only halfway there. So you have still some time to improve your gaming skills, Joe. Now you act like I'm crazy. Easy to make an old man believe that dementia is starting to kick in. But you guys are wrong. If you all had a little more faith in me, I could have shown that we could have got Bowser on the ground in only five seconds. The only thing you can do in five seconds is fall asleep, but I also see that you are overestimating yourself. You can see that in your presidency, too. It's a good thing I'm about to take over your duties as the one and only best president in America. America's best president? Don't make me laugh. That was me. Neither of you will ever match that. Guys, stop this. This is getting completely out of control again. Please bury that hatchet for a while when we play this game. And if you really want to know who the best president of history is, just ask the viewers. They are your fans, and we'll be able to tell you which of the three of you is the best president. Right, guys? Leave a comment below. I know for sure that they will choose me. Even you, Michelle, say that I was the best. Yes, of course she will tell you that. It's your wife, you stupid loser. But fine, let the viewers decide. They know I am the greatest at everything. Ha, ah, now you make me laugh, Donald. I'm not afraid of a competition, Joe. We will see. I'm done for today. See you later. Yeah, me too. See you guys later in a new game. All right, thanks for tonight, boys. Are you coming to bed, Barack? We all know what you guys are gonna do. See you, boys.